This is Susan French, clinical hypnotherapist. Looking for love in your 40s and 50s? How to tell he's not the one. Looking for love can sometimes feel like a wild, wild jungle. For many people, dating can be more disappointing than fun. When you hit middle age years, dating has more baggage and complications, doesn't it? You may have been married and find yourself divorced, but still believe in a happily ever after. You can have it, but avoiding certain situations will make your quest easier and more fun. Here are seven warning signs that you should pass him up. The crazy ex. He says all his exes are crazy. Know that he's not the one for you. Sit down with someone and listen to his story. The story they tell is like a crystal ball of your probable future with him. If he blames everything on his ex, don't expect that he will take responsibility. You'll end up with a bad guy. You could also be the crazy one. He could also be the crazy one that stirs up drama. Do you really want that at this stage in life? Is he ghosty? Ghosty is what happens when someone just disappears out of your life without a trace. If he is hard to get a hold of, dodges your questions, or cancels with you, he's not good boyfriend material. Or it's all about sex. He pressures you to have sex, but you aren't sure if he actually likes you. Having sex with someone will not make them like you more, no matter how good you are. Being used for sex can leave you feeling empty. If you want substance in life, make sure he really likes you first. And then there's non-committal Nathan. If he doesn't want anything serious, but you do, it probably isn't a good match. Everyone thinks that they will be the one that is different. Movies and romance novels lead us to believe that if we are really good to someone, they will leave their single life and never look back. But reality is different. Make sure you're at the same stage in life that you want the same things in a relationship. That you want, both want a relationship. Or, if he's clingy and not trusting. There's a difference between clingy and smitten. On the trusting issue, his past traumas probably run deep. It's not about you, it's about him. But until he deals with his past, he will project those feelings of insecurity onto you, making your relationship a roller coaster ride. He's a friend's ex. They weren't meant to be, but maybe you two were? You have to think very carefully here. Is this messy situation to deal with so early on in your relationship? Hardships strain even the strongest of relationships. It could be the kiss of death for a new one. He's not about safe sex. Remember the opening uh, paragraph states that dating can be like a wild, wild jungle? That jungle could be teeming with STDs. STD rates have hit a record high in the USA. If he cares about you, he will make sure protection is a priority. You don't want to sleep with all the people he slept with early on. You deserve a man who has your best interest at heart. Sometimes finding the right relationship means getting your own self in order. You've been hurt, and you carry baggage too. There is a simple way to release that baggage to start each new relationship that you have anew. Hypnosis is powerful in helping you become all that you are before you try to find the one for you. I work with people who have had traumatic relationships, divorce, or attracting the wrong men in life. Be the best you so you can attract someone that is the best version of them.